Matt here with Mr. Energy. Hey, today we are working on a wood burning stove. We are adding a secondary burn chamber or a secondary combustion air to the top of an old wood stove insert. This is a low pie, it's probably about 30 plus years old. It's got a large firebox. They don't make them this big anymore. This stove is a beast. Needs a few repairs, but overall it's in really good shape. Everything is here. The damper works and the steel is not warped or cracked. It's a pretty good stove. So let's get it all cleaned up and dig into it. We're gonna lift this stove up and put it on its back. I think it'll be easier to access from the top down. So you're looking at that top view of the wood stove here. Those tubes is where our access to air is going to be. And we're gonna line that up with our combustion air. So one feature it has is this bracket. It's just a piece of angle iron and it supports a row of bricks on the top of the stove and it's called a baffle. We are going to add another row of bricks to double up the size of our baffle. And more cleanup, the stove is pretty dirty. So just to show you, two rows of bricks. The first one we'll set in the back, and then that second row we're gonna bring that up to just increase that baffle size. This is the key right here to the whole thing, making it high efficient, is adding that air. I've got some three-quarter black pipe, and we're gonna access our air through that black pipe and also be able to connect the stainless tube to our stove. Drill in a couple holes and we are going to create a slot for the air to travel through our bracket. I've got some flat bar. I am going to box this out just so that it fits pretty good in that space and that we can be able to weld it secure in place. And we need to make two of these brackets, so one for each side. That's pretty hot. We're gonna let that cool off for a minute. Using our plasma cutter, I'm gonna cut some slots and try to line it up pretty close, as close as I can to our brackets and get those welded in place. Here's a close up view of those slotted holes and that lines up pretty good. I'm happy with that. Finishing up the welding on our tube brackets.
Here we go, welding those two brackets in place. So the stainless steel tube that goes across, there is air coming in from both sides and that just adds that additional combustion air. It is stainless steel, so you can replace it, but it will hold up to the heat really well. You can see that top baffle bracket as well as welded in place and that tube slides in the pipe on each side and secured with a screw. So we're ready to put fire brick in here and get this thing tested. Here it is. Awesome burn test. It's working really good, better than I expected. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe, keep working hard, be creative, and always do your best.